Good morning guys, I thought that we would do an experiment today. I want to see if this little DeLonghi KG89 grind fine enough for espresso. And if not, there is a little hack that we can do to give that a try. So I'm gonna start by turning the dial to the most fine setting. And let's see if we can get a decent espresso. It's very important to use fresh coffee and I've got this really fresh coffee here from our local roastery. So we're gonna try that out. 14 grams in. We can also right away test the retention. All right. Sounds like a vacuum. Okay, this is what it looks like when it comes out. It's not that easy to get it all out of there. Kind of staticky. So this is how fine the powder is. Until it's it's pretty fine, but not quite fine enough, I don't think. Well, I got 12 back out, 12 grams, and I think I should be fair and give it a full 14 grams, so I'm gonna grind a little more. Okay. All right, 14 grams. Here's the moment of truth. Oh, 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 oh. That is spritzing like a son of a gun. Okay, well, less than 20 seconds. You can see there for our brew. We did get crema out of it, but it was way too fast. So let's try the hack and see if we can't grind a little finer. Okay, so before we get started on the hack, I'm just going to say this as a disclaimer. This is for entertainment purposes only. If you try this yourself at home, please be very careful when doing so. And you take your own responsibility for your machine and your own personal protection. So let's get started. We need a few tools. I'm gonna to try this putty knife. And we may need this uh, tool for prying, the screwdriver here. And we are gonna need also a normal Phillips screwdriver. There it is. So first things first, unplug. Obviously it's gotta be unplugged. We're going to remove the plastic parts. The plastic parts, by the way, also have safety features. They hit, here are some sensors inside so that if the plastic part is off, then the motor won't run either, just so you know. Take out that plastic part. Now we have to remove these two buttons here, or these two dials. So let's go ahead and remove that. I'm gonna try this first. I don't want to scratch the surface here. Let me see if I can get underneath there. Okay, that came off fairly easily, but it's got these tabs here, these plastic tabs. So be careful when pulling that out of there that you don't break any of those tabs. Also, make sure that the dial, both of these dials are in the counterclockwise position as far as they go. I was able to get this one off just by prying with my hands. Okay, that's the front dial. I'm gonna put that here off to the side. Then this machine here has got four spots. One, two, three, four. that need to be pried to the side so that this can get pulled out. All 
Oh, and there it is. Okay. Now we're going to remove these four screws. sensor up out of the way. Now we have access here to the wheel and then we can adjust this to make it finer. So to make this a finer grind we have to turn the wheel counterclockwise and there's various ways to do that. One of them is to remove these four screws and turn this adjusting sprocket about 90 degrees in the opposite direction clockwise so that when you turn it back to the end stop you can get a fighter grind all right before we go further i want to see what spot we were in before we did anything so i'm going to mark this wheel at the top and i'm going to mark this one from top to bottom okay We'll put a T on there. I know the T was in this orientation before I started. And here, I know this is where I am starting for the fineness on that sprocket. So there are various ways of doing this. Number one is I could turn this sprocket already 90 degrees so that it's finer. Or I could cut this little knob off. If I cut that knob off, then I have the free choice of how fine or how coarse I want to set the grinder. But that can be dangerous because if you go too fine, then you may seize the burrs, causing the motor to fail. So I think what I'm going to do, I put this back in the original position, this main sprocket here. And I'm gonna put this in at 90 degrees clockwise so that I have extra leeway to turn it finer when it's put back together. Put the hopper back on. Put the sensor back in place. When you're putting the switch back in, you have to hit the little mechanical part, the little button push it in in order to get the sensor back in place. There we go. That's on. Slide this top back on. Ooh, satisfying. Locked in. Let's put our adjustment knob on. Boom. Time knob, boom, hopper back in, top, all right, all right, that's it, let's give it a shot. First of all, let's turn it back a few notches and let's see, let's make sure it doesn't seize first of all. So now it's on medium. Okay, so you wanna make sure that if you go as fine as possible that it doesn't seize, and it didn't. I was all the way at the end stop. I think that the burrs are about as close together as they can get without actually seizing, so I think this is gonna be interesting. All right, let's go, let's try again and see if we get a decent espresso. Okay, here goes nothing. Wow, is that staticky. Definitely better. Mm. 
looks pretty good. Just over 30 seconds and 30 grams. And now the taste test. Mmm. Much better than before. I'm really getting more of the chocolatey notes that I'm used to in this espresso. It's like um like bittersweet dark chocolate. It's tasty. Okay, so what did we find out today? This DeLonghi KG89 grinder can grind fine enough for espresso after doing a 50 minute hack and it's a very cheap grinder. So if you're just starting out and you don't want to invest too much money right away, then you can try that option. I am not sure that I can recommend it myself because it's extremely messy and very, very staticky. And for me, I just don't like cleaning up messes all the time. But hey, for a budget grinder, that's quite a good price. And if you can deal with having a little bit of mess, why not? All right. Thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you next time, guys. Happy coffee drinking.